In this video, I would like to talk with you about five problems that could derive from wrong impressions that you send out. Now, first of all, what I want to do is I want to introduce to you the five different problems and then afterwards I will talk with you about them in detail. Now, the first one is misunderstandings. The second one is inconsistency. The third one, hurt feelings. Fourth one, lower trustworthiness. And the fifth one, destroyed relationships. Now, if you want to download this infographic, just go to the left top corner and click on download. Let's start with the first problem that derives from the wrong impressions. Now, the first problem is misunderstandings. If you make the wrong impression, people will mistake the signals you send. More and more misunderstandings will occur. And I think this is actually quite self-explanatory. For instance, if you always make the wrong impression and you seem perhaps, let's say, happy, but you're actually sad, or you seem sad, but you're actually happy, that leads to misunderstandings. For instance, if you seem angry and no one wants to talk to you, but you're actually happy and want to talk to everyone, there are going to be misunderstandings. And that is one of the huge problems that derives from making the wrong impressions. Then let's focus on the second one, which is inconsistency. If you make wrong impressions all the time, your signals toward other people might be inconsistent and might not come in the right moments because other people misread the signals. Now, let's, for instance, imagine you're sending out some kind of signal, some kind of impression you're giving that, let's say, you're unhappy in that certain moment. But other people misread that um, as you being happy. And then, of course, from these misunderstandings, there's going to be inconsistency because sometimes you might feel extremely happy, but you're sending out wrong signal and people are like, okay, is this person now happy or not? So it seems to these people like you're being inconsistent in your approach. You're inconsistent in your personality. And people who don't have a stable personality cause problems in any kind of environment. And that's why I always say be emotionally stable, but also have have a personality that is stable. These two things are much different from each other. Nevertheless, of course, they are connected to a certain degree. And then, of course, number three, hurt feelings. Wrong signals could result in feelings toward you that you never wanted. For instance, if, again, you always seem angry, but you're actually happy, then people are like, why is this guy always angry? Why is he always so unfriendly to us? Why is he always making these bad signals towards us? Or, for instance, if you're doing some weird things with your eyes, or if you're moving in a certain way and you seem angry while doing that, and other people pick that up, then of course they always think, you know, this person's angry right now, I don't want to talk to that person. So people inside your company might actually get hurt. They might get hurt in terms of their feelings. Now, I know that people or you perhaps will say, you know, feelings don't matter a lot in the company, but if you really want to work in the long term with people together, the feelings of people really matter. Because as we said, we want to build trust. And from that trust comes speed. All right, so then let's focus on number four, which is lower trustworthiness. So as we said, from trust comes speed. If you're not trustworthy, there is going to be a slowdown. You're going to slow down. The company is going to slow down. You're not going to make as much money anymore. You're not going to progress as, as much anymore. And in the end, the, let's say, reason why the group exists even um, is, well, not stable anymore. It might be that the company even falls apart. If you're not trustworthy, that is almost the end of every company or let's say it's the beginning of the end. So your overall trustworthiness could decrease because of the bad feelings toward you and the wrong signals at the wrong time. So if you're inconsistent, let's say in your approach, if your personality doesn't seem stable, if you're perhaps full of emotions, but perhaps of the wrong emotions, or at least you send out that signal, people are not going to trust you anymore. For instance, I would never trust a person, for instance, to pay me a salary if I know that their personality is is not stable. That would personally for, personally be for me a huge problem. That's why I always think about your level of trustworthiness. Are you trustworthy or are you not? And then, of course, number five, destroyed relationships. You might destroy a lot of relationships through sending out the wrong signals. 
For instance, if you have, um, if you have, uh, let's say, an employee and you like that person's work a lot, but you always send that person a, let's say, some kind of bad impression, some kind of bad signal, of course, that person is going to be not happy. Perhaps the relationship between you and that person is going to be destroyed, even though there is no reason. Or other way around, if, for instance, you like someone's work not at all, but you always give the impression that, you know, you like the work, this person's going to continue like that. And then at a certain point, you're going to be like, okay, I'm going to lay you off. And then this person is probably, um, you know, it's not un doesn't understand why it is happening. So he or she might say, you know, you always gave me that great signal. You always showed me that you appreciate my work, but now you're laying me off. Why the hell are you doing that? So you're destroying relationships. So these were now five reasons or five problems that could derive from making the wrong impressions. If you want to download this guide, just go over to the left top corner and click on download. So, all right, that was it now here for this video. Thank you so, so much for watching and we are going to see each other in the next one.